No event in Israel's history was more recognized and remembered than the Passover. For 400 years, Israel had been enslaved in Egypt, but at just the right time, God sent a deliverer to bring his chosen people out of bondage. Moses was sent with his brother Aaron to demand that Pharaoh let God's people go. And even after nine terrible plagues, Pharaoh continued to harden his heart against the Lord and wouldn't release the Israelites. And with that, the stage had been set for the most devastating plague to strike Egypt. The Lord instituted the Passover, when the angel of death would pass over the land of Egypt and strike all their firstborn dead. However, the Lord had prepared a way for the firstborn of all who believed in him. They would be saved from the grip of the angel of death. In place of the life of their firstborn sons, a lamb would be selected and slain in their place. The shed blood of the innocent animal was to be smeared on the sides and the tops of the door frames of their home as a sign of their faith in God. The angel of death wouldn't come near the firstborn of those who believed, but would pass over them. Exodus chapter 12, 13 tells us, but the blood on your doorpost will serve as a sign, marking the houses where you are staying. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. This plague of death will not touch you when I strike the land of Egypt. The Passover was the event that finally set Israel free from slavery in Egypt and was a picture of the perfect Passover lamb who would come to the earth to take away the sin of the world and become the sacrifice for our sin. And what was it that made the difference between life and death? What determined whether a family's house was passed over or the firstborn died? Blood. On the night before he died, Jesus celebrated the Passover with his disciples one last time. The next day, he would die on the cross as the true Passover lamb. He shed his blood for us, and it's his blood that saves us from eternal death and sets us free. The wrath of God passes over because it has been poured out on him. You and I deserve the judgment and wrath of God in our lives. We are sinners before a holy God. How in the world can we be delivered? And the answer is by trusting in the blood of Jesus by putting our faith in his sacrifice on the cross for us so that when we are trusting in the blood of Jesus, though we deserve the wrath of God, it passes over us. So let me ask you, are you covered by the gift of Jesus' blood? <laughs>